Today we're going to walk through how to get your artwork ready for printing by talking about converting artwork to vector art, choosing a PMS color number, converting fonts to outlines, and saving in the correct file type. This is Marco's Art 101, your blueprints to quality imprints. Before we start, it is important to note, simply resaving your artwork file with a new extension does not mean you have converted it to the proper format. It usually takes a substantial amount of work to get your artwork print ready. If you'd rather have us do it, we have trained graphic artists on hand. Now let's get started. First, how do you convert to vector art? If you don't know what vector is, feel free to watch our video explaining the difference between raster art and vector art. To convert it, you're going to need the correct software. It has to be a vector-based program such as Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. Open your artwork in the program you have, then use a line, curve, or path tool to trace all your art's lines. There are a number of ways to do this. One of the easiest may be to trace the images furthest back first, then build your way to the front. When everything is traced, you will need to fill in every plane with the color of your choice. Next, you're going to need to make your colors PMS ready. If you don't know what PMS colors are, just watch our video about using correct colors. Check to see that there is a corresponding PMS number for your current color in your program of choice. Then just send that number with your artwork file. If there is no number associated with it, you're going to need to find the closest PMS color to your desired color. Once you have the desired color, just send the PMS number with your file. The next step is to convert text. To make sure your font prints correct, convert it to outlines. Doing this is as simple as selecting your text in Illustrator and right clicking, then clicking Create Outlines. If you can't do this, you can try to send the font file along with your artwork file. Font files may not always be compatible with other computers, so you may need to work with your customer care representative to find a font that will work for you. Lastly, after all the other steps are done, make sure you save your file to the correct file type. It must be one of these extensions. We prefer you send in a .eps. Any other extension besides these will not work, which means your standard JPEG and PNG files are not sufficient. If you've followed along the tutorial series this far and you've followed the instructions, you're ready to submit your artwork. If you want some additional tips and tricks for imprints, keep watching. In the next episode, we're going to talk about using Marco's art team for artwork creation and customization. Thanks for watching. See you next time.